All right, coming out three, two, one. Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. Of course, it's me, the most energetic entertainer. Anytime I hop on to do an interview, I always like to put on and talk about new music. I got the west side of Atlanta in the building. Lil Tony what is, that? is in the what studio. Is that? What's up, brother? How you feeling, man? <laughs> I'm feeling great. What about you, gang? I'm good, man. I'm glad. Like I said before, I'm a fan of your music. Shout out to Party Boy Deuce. Every time we do our Hot 1079 pet rallies, it's a couple of songs we know. That the young is gonna turn up to, and when we play 3 a.m., it it just get them up through there. Take me back to that studio session when you made that song. Man, it wasn't even a session. For it real? was like it was just a th- that was th- that was a throwaway. Really, all my songs that don't blew up and throwaway. Mm. No so cap. who told you like Tony? This the one you gotta push that one. It it wasn't like. It really wasn't nobody like we. It was just another song, no? it's like mm-hmm. when we made it, it was cool. You feel me? Yeah. Like it's a it's a nice song or whatever. But that one was the one we thought was gonna go up. You know Which was saying? the one that y'all was like, "This it." I wonder, but we couldn't mm-hmm. do nothing with that. Then mm-hmm. it was, it was a whole bunch of. Them. We were just making hit back to back to back to back. Mm-hmm. So I don't even know. I got I got a whole bunch in the vault. So you started rapping in quarantine. Yeah. Something like that. What yeah. was okay? So it was one of your homies. Was y'all like on the game and niggas was freestyling? <laughs> You're like, bro, yeah. Tony Bray might go have to hop in the studio. Yeah. Was it one of those situations? Yeah, yeah, it was like, yeah, nah, I was on. I had it was quarantine, like I say, and like nigga wasn't doing that, mm-hmm. so I was just chilling. And then you know, I just downloaded Band Lab, mm-hmm. and I had put a little. I had some one of my partners. He used to rap. So I like, and he had that one song that was OD hard. Yeah. So I was like, Twin, you gotta let me hop on that bit, Twin. Just let, <laughs> let me put a verse on that yeah. bit, Twin. That bit OD hard. Yeah. So I hopped on that bit. That bit was, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but it was fun though. I like rapping. Yeah. So like the fact that I like rapping, I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna keep trying. Mm-hmm. I just kept going. At first, nobody was fucking with me, but mm-hmm. then it started, started um, catching up. You feel me? When I dropped Quagan, mm. that bitch started going up. So Now, what platform rap. did Quagan take off on first? I seen it hella. I, when I saw it on Twitter first, because I saw the, somebody use the background of the song for like a meme, yeah. I immediately started seeing it, seeing it on Twitter. <laughs> and I mean, on TikTok, everywhere. So where did you see it go at first? Instagram. Mm. This this way back when, when like... um. Really, TikTok was popping, but it wasn't mm, popping. It wasn't popping. That's why I was like, but then that's like, that was around the time when they was doing those different trends with like putting like Atlanta rap drill songs over like memes and stuff. I got to go and find that TikTok because it just came back up on my For You page. But seeing it on Instagram first, was it like reels or videos or yeah, like, Instagram stories? You remember like, this was back around the time like we had views on Instagram. Mm. So like... You know, way back when, like you a hood famous. If you could catch like, you can catch like a like like a thousand views, yeah. twenty thousand. Yeah. I mean, a thousand likes, twenty thousand views. Mm-hmm. You like shit and post on did good. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. So shit, my shit was doing OD good. Like, I think it caught like four thousand likes, like hundred thousand views on my Instagram. So I'm like, shit, I ain't never got nothing like that. Like compared to what I normally do, like I think mm-hmm. I normally get like. 500 likes, 400 yeah, likes. Yeah. So my shit starting to grow now. So now I'm seeing progression. So that's when I really synced it with really Instagram because folks started coming fucking with me on Instagram. Like every time I post or every time I drop, like I grow more and more and more. Mm-hmm. So I started, that's when I really, I really started seeing it. I ain't see it from nowhere else because at start of my rap, I wasn't even worried about TikTok, Twitter. I still don't got none of that shit. I mean, I got TikTok, but I ain't got nothing besides really TikTok and Instagram. I don't really be worried about none of that. Yeah. Like, but I started, well, I, I, I'm starting to get into it now, but mm-hmm. at the time, all I had really was Instagram. So mm-hmm. that's all I really seen. Instagram was a different time then, too. You know, people weren't buying blue checks <laughs> and all the PPP stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The pandemic really changed stuff. Yeah. But all right, new single, Hot. Right, yeah. take us back to that studio session, and it's like one thing that I admire about your about your musical flow and cadence is like what I was telling you outside is like you. Now that I met you, I can really understand your raps, bro. I'm like, okay, Lil Tony is exactly who he say he is. Exactly. So take us back to like what was that process of, of putting together that record? Um, shit, real. I made that shit like three, four months ago. Like it was just another one of the ones where I was just like trying shit. Mm-hmm. Like I ain't. Was it like, a throwaway? 
Yeah, it's a throwaway. Yeah, it's another throwaway. I ain't even gonna lie. A lot of stuff that I've been dropping, like recently, been throwaways because mm-hmm. I've been trying to just throw out all my old music mm-hmm. to, to so I can get ready to start throwing out my new sound. Mm-hmm. So I just been trying to really throw away all the old little music. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That I ain't really but like. They been rocking with it though. I don't know how. <laughs> so what? So you say you got a new sound developing? Like what are you? What are you yeah. turning to now? Really. To get money music. Like, I've mm-hmm. been doing that, but it's like, it's overly, like, it's to the point where I'm trying to change my vocabulary. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to change my cadence, the way I rap, the stuff mm-hmm. I rap about. Mm-hmm. Shit. I'm really, like, I still be cursing. I'm really start, trying to stop cursing all that mm-hmm. type of junk. Like, change my whole, my whole wave to the, my whole wave of, I'm trying to bring a whole new wave to the city. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, Making that fun music. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? I feel exactly. It. I feel exactly. It. So you grew up on the west side, but then you moved to Riverdale Road, and yeah. you was in East Point. Those are a couple of areas I'm familiar with. What exactly. What can you say that you have been able to grab from being from all those different parts of the city to help you with your music? Really? It's like I learned how to adapt because, like, it's the city all the same, but it's, everybody moved different everywhere. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, moving around really help you understand everybody. You feel mm-hmm. me? Because now, like, I see where air, I see where everybody coming from mm-hmm. on each side, yeah, each side of the city, each side of the world. Shit, cause mm-hmm. I done ran into so many different type of people now. Shit, I know it. I damn near know every type of person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just off rip. Yeah. One thing I admire about y'all, I was able to check out your YouTube channel and the day in the life when y'all was in New York was hilarious. <laughs> was the driver Chinese or was he Mexican? Like, oh, and he was Asian. He bro. was Asian. <laughs> bro, if you haven't checked out a little Tony Day in the life, I'm telling you, you in for a laugh. For real. Y'all, y'all was talking about him and getting women and the whole. Now, how important is it? It just seems like when you around the bros, it's great camaraderie. I checked out your, your Dirty Glove Bastard interview, too. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to Manny. Um, how how important is it just having the bros with you in, you know, times like that? Uh, Really? It's like, it ain't it ain't too important. It's mm-hmm. like, it's more so on some whatever they own. Like, mm-hmm. I always want my brothers to enjoy everything with me, so I would love to have them with me whenever I'm... Um, experience something in life mm-hmm. like you know a milestone but it's also like if if they ain't feeling it like niggas ain't everybody ain't trying to go to new york shit mm-hmm. ain't, i ain't stunning like shit we gonna i do this shit by myself yeah like, you yeah. feel me like it's just whatever everybody on like i be on like i just move however like all right it be like i'm finna go do this y'all boy coming mm-hmm. be like going once yeah going twice. if you ain't coming you ain't coming yeah. fuck it i'm doing myself yeah. if he is then come along you For feel sure. me straight For like sure. that now, shout out to Lil RT. I see y'all everywhere on TikTok and stuff oh, yeah. together. How did y'all first link up? I uh, met him on, you know, Sabrina's Kitchen. You know what that yeah. is? Yeah. Yeah, I was on the way to Sabrina's Kitchen, and it was closed that day. Mm-hmm. So I, so I, when I was going up, um, I, I had just parking. I seen them. I seen. I had seen them uh, on a bike. With his little partner. Mm-hmm. So I gave him a hunter. I was like, hey, little brother, stay out the way. Woo, woo. Mm-hmm. And, and then I just told him, um, yeah, just stay out the way. And I went to go get some food to build clothes. Mm-hmm. So I like, fuck that shit. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to leave. Mm-hmm. So I came back the next day, and he was he was there with his mama. So I took he took, asked me to take a picture. I took yeah. a picture with him. And he was like, and then he came back, and he was like, twin, my mama want to talk to you, twin. Mm-hmm. And then I went out to the car, and he was like, and his mom was like, Junior want to come chill with you for the day. Ooh, yeah. And I had a video. I had a whole lot of shit to do that day. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, he can come kick it with me. I ain't got shit going. I mean, I do got shit going, but I wanted to show him like yeah, the, how the it music. Is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I want to show him all the music shit. So I like, all right, cool. He can come kick it with me. Mm-hmm. And then he called me the next day. And he was like, Twin, where you at? Twin, come pick me up. Twin, I get his mama had pissed him off. <laughs> so I was like, all right, bet. And then he just been kicking shit with me since then. That's hard. I seen it. Um, y'all had a show. It looked like it was on Brandon Road. I seen that venue look familiar. But when you was rocking out, they was going crazy. When you passed the mic to Lil RT, man, that, I'm talking about the girls even reaching for it, bro. <laughs> so what type of knowledge have you been able to kick game to? I'm like, all right, brother, when you when you turn 10 now, you're going to have to do this. I be trying to put him on game. You know he's still young. Mm-hmm. So you know how we all how we all was when we was yeah. OD young. Like, we ain't trying to hear that shit. Yeah. Like, so that's just how he is. Like, I be putting him down like, hey, little bro, let's get some money. Like, mm-hmm. all that hot shit ain't nothing. But mm-hmm. he young, so he don't understand yet. But it's like, it's not that he not listening it's more so like he don't he not with me 24 7 so i can only 
He that only gonna move like that when he with me. Mm-hmm. Like when he with me, he move right. But mm-hmm. when he ain't with me, I don't know how little bro move. You feel me? So <laughs> yeah. nah, just for real. Yeah. So when he not when he go around his folks, other stuff is you feel me? Like mm-hmm. certain shit I don't allow, or certain shit I do allow ain't allowed or ain't allowed. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So he move different when he ain't with me. So yeah. when he get back around with me. Like, I don't even trip on him when he do certain shit. Like, I, I tell him not to do it, but I don't even trip on certain shit because I know, like, he he from what he, where he come from. You yeah. see, at the end of the day, he still go back to the hood. Like, like I might let him kick it with me two, three days, mm-hmm. but after that, he go back to his mom and his uncles and shit. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So yeah. whatever he yeah. do while he with them, you That's feel that, me? That's what yeah. he going he gonna to do when he come back around. You sure. feel me? Well, I salute you for being a young OG to RT, man. If y'all ain't tapped in, what well, appreciate y'all tapped in for sure. What's one thing before this year is over? It's the top of November that you want to get done off your bucket list as an artist. Uh, I want to get all my brothers rich. I don't even sure. know for that. I want to get my whole family rich for sure. For sure. Before anything, like before the end of this year, or not? I know probably not before the end of this year, realistically, but. Before the end of the next year, mm-hmm. I want to down show make sure I had my whole family financially wealthy, like to the point where like, on on on, on each one of our birthdays or one of our, you know what I'm saying, we could mm-hmm. all buy each other some, some stupid crazy key shit, pulling you know up SRT <laughs> yeah. red key like For like sure. the shit in Park's birthday. Fuck it, here go a house. You know? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. My yeah. birthday, like he like here go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> like on some player shit. I'm trying to get that's where I'm that's that's where I'm I'm working to right now. So I'm really trying to start my own brands mm-hmm. and. And, you know, just further out my name and, you know what I'm saying, just help further sure. brand for real. That's dope, man. I see you are big in the fashion game. We be flicking up on the ground. What's some, like, underground clothing lines that need some light to be shed on them, that little Tony Rock? It's so many, gang. Uh, this one right here. I was my, about to say, that's hard, though. Then my favorite hoodie right here. I ain't even going to lie Who to you. Who brand is that? got to get this bit. This digital ties right here. Shout All out right. digital ties. They, they gave me this bit. All right. Um, damn, it's it's... No, no lucky love. It's they gave me a, a zip up, a mm. little zip up jacket. They be O D hard. Yeah. Um, sucker free. Shout out sucker free. Yeah, them. I'm tapped in with sucker free. Sucker free hard. Sucker, yep. sucker free um, hard. Damn. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, uh, yeah, a whole bunch. Like these boy be, bro. Hey man, if you see this, and I ain't shot you out, bro. I'm sorry, gang. It's a whole. <laughs> it's bunch a lot of, of y'all out there, man. It's a lot of y'all. It's a lot of them. It's, like, like, it's a lot of them. I gotta go on my Instagram. Man. Yeah, you gotta go and scroll it and, and, oh, and, and, and show what it is. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, my phone and died on the video. Man, man, I got little Tony in the studio with me today, y'all. Make sure you guys go check out Hot. It's out right now. He okay. gonna pop up with me to a couple of events for the rest of, of this course. year. We gonna make it happen. No cap. Make sure you guys go check out the single. Another episode right here with me, Manny Supreme. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. For sure.